What feel did you want to get from this? Uh, well, I think it was it was interesting because knowing Guy's films before, it was you know trying to kind of transpose what he got into contemporary films into a period film would have been interesting. And you know we wanted to go for something that was quite kind of naturalistic that allowed the kind of you know the whole feel of. I suppose the gritty reality, if you want of a kind of simplistic term, but that's what we wanted, and uh, I've yet to see whether we've achieved it. <laughs> but you know, but also the you know the locations that were required for the film, you know, there were a lot of a lot of kind of down and dirty, and then we looked at lots of references for Baker Street. Baker Street wasn't this pristine Baker Street we know today; it was something else. So you know that's what we're trying to achieve. Talk yeah. about Chatham Dockyard because you yeah. transformed that for various <laughs> scenes didn't you? Yeah, Chatham became our god godsend actually because we, we kept going back there for more and more and it's like where can we shoot this oh let's go back to Chatham you know because but Chatham was fantastic it really worked for its original purpose actually we used the actual kind of slipways uh, Turks Boat Yard we transformed into into our slipway and um, which was brilliant. We couldn't have gone anywhere else for that. And then, um, yeah, used many of its kind of the, the punch bowl pub and the hangman. The hangman. The hangman. I lots of locations we kind of fitted in, and the prison. Yeah, <laughs> lots of locations we fitted in down there. So it was great to, uh, you know, have have something that's so flexible and so period. But an awful lot of creation went on there, creating yeah. the sets. You just didn't use Chatham no, as is. No, no, no. You, you never use anything. I'm, I'm renowned as being not an as found designer. You know, you don't ever use anything as is. You always are doing all sorts of work. But uh, where do you get your ideas from? Um, <laughs> I'd like to say just my head, but not at all. Um, we do an awful lot of research. We have fantastic kind of art department and team. You just kind of flood your mind with all sorts of imagery. Um, one of the most exciting things that we found was for the denouement of the film up on uh, Tower Bridge. We actually got these incredible photographs that hadn't been seen for, for like 100 years since Tower Bridge was built from Tower Bridge. That was amazing. So you actually had the photographs of the real thing being built and that was stunning so you know. is it thrilling to see these wonderful craftsmen and women you know these artisans yeah, yeah, bring absolutely. everything to life absolutely. i mean that's that's we would be nothing without without all of them you know the whole point of you know and that's the whole beauty of the british film industry is that it's just full of all these incredibly talented people and i'm nothing without them you know i'm nothing without guy you know it's a, it's a it's a whole symbiotic relationship it can't be anything else you know we are we rely on each other and you know, that's the main point. And how did you and Guy work together in the vision of this? Um, well, I think Guy was Guy was very open to you know the whole period thing. He he didn't pretend that he knew everything about period. He just said, I you know I I want this feel. I want this to work. I want it to have a foot in reality. That you know, okay, we've pushed reality, but there has to be some reality to everything that we've done. And. Um, I think there is some reality. I don't know. I've got to see it. <laughs> how are you going to How are you going to feel when you watch it on the big screen and you think? Scared. <gasps> absolutely, absolutely scared. I, I have no idea because you know the editing process and you know all the little inserts and things. You know what have we ended up with? Well, I mean, it seems like we've ended up with something. So you know, so that's great. <laughs> and what's the next project for you? Uh, I'm actually doing a contemporary thriller uh, with Joe Wright in Germany based in Germany so completely different to this but I love that I love that that's the great thing about our job you know so we get to do all sorts make and make magic wherever wherever we go so and because of this feel that you're generating all these people across the world will want to visit London will actually yeah. want to visit Chatham in Kent <laughs> yeah. well they'll find quite a lot of what's originally there you know they'll see what we've done if they remember the film they'll see what we've done to it but the bare bones are there, and places like Chatham and Hatfield House, and you know, uh, there's lots of lots of locations around London that we used, and Manchester and Liverpool as well, you know, which is fantastic. And if it boosts tourism, hey. Yeah, absolutely, I'm all for that. Yeah, come on, come and have a look. <laughs> Sarah, thank you.